Okay, uh, so uh, this is Rani Ahmed with you, and in uh, this video, uh, what we're going to do is I have uh, this uh, telescope, okay, but I'm going to use this one only, okay. Uh, this is a uh, Sersen Astromas 130EQ, and it's a Newtonian. This one is a normal uh, refractor uh, telescope, but uh, our topic here is comparing this. A 1.25 inch uh, 25 millimeters eyepiece fossil okay with uh, another 25 millimeter 2 inch okay uh, see Elox this is the one that comes with uh, this big set over here okay and the K in the big case aluminum case okay this is the standard Celestron uh, uh, kit, uh, two inch kit, uh, you know, as you see. It's the only one. There's another one which is for the 1.25 inch. Okay. So, as I start for the barrel size, just for you to really know, see this the difference. Okay. Okay. And uh, because uh, uh, this one can uh, take only the uh, 1.25 inches. Uh, we will have to use this adapter. Okay, so this one uh, is uh, from 1.25 inch to just I'm, add, I'm putting it putting them together just for you to know. Okay, to that two inch. Okay. So here I put the two inch inside it and I prepare it earlier. Okay, now uh, there's uh, one thing you might wonder why I did not choose this uh, Newtonian telescope because Newtonian telescopes, like uh, they are short. I mean, like uh, they they short in their service. Okay, they don't uh, give you uh, or they don't help you. Okay, if your uh, eyepiece here. Uh, takes the 1.25 you can just insert this directly okay so you will have to put a bubble lens okay and uh, if you have the chance to get a 1.5 bubble lens it's enough more than enough even okay and uh, nowadays they're selling the two uh, the two x uh, barlow okay two times barlow uh, so it increases the power of the telescope twice. Okay, this is 1.25 times uh, Barlow, which will increase that much. Okay, uh, the telescope. So that's why we use a Barlow mainly with adapters. Okay, so because I want to get rid of the adapters, uh, I want to uh, directly use a refractor and just for the, make the comparison between the eyepieces without any uh, other effects. Okay. Now, uh, of course, you would say, oh, the, there's a uh, first thing, uh, I won't be seeing the whole view. Of course, that's true. Okay, but uh, we're going to also see the zoom, the zooming power, and uh, what else? That's all. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we're going to use the same uh, phone that I'm taking uh, this video from. Okay, I'm making this video from. Uh, which is an LG uh, K7 uh, 2017 and we're going to use this uh, mobile adapter this is uh, the Celestron NexYZ an EXYZ okay uh, this is uh, one of the best uh, mobile adapters so this one is made for you just to put the eyepiece here okay you put the eyepiece over here and then um, you can find so many about it okay so many videos and uh, as you see you can move the eyepiece or the uh, mean the the pane here of the uh, telephone this is where you put the pane of the telephone okay and then you can just move this and you can move it like this like uh, right and left okay and you can also move it uh, 
left or right, okay, up and down. I move it all around, as it is, they say. <laughs> I'm not silly. No, this is it. So, um, let's start. So uh, this screw is meant for uh, the uh, uh, fastening the eyepiece. And here you go. Uh, what we're going to take a picture of is a very far mosque tower. Okay, it's a far mosque tower. So you see that mosque tower, okay, over here. Okay, so I'm going to fasten the uh, next YZ and attach it to the uh, telescope, the black small telescope. Okay. Remember to put it the uh, correct way, whether it's landscape, uh, portrait, all that stuff. Now we're going to move the phone. Just find the eyepiece. Okay, so this is the 1.25 eyepiece. We are seeing now the uh, now it's that the phone is now half zoomed. I will be zooming more with the phone. Okay, yeah. let's zoom without first. This is without the phone zoom. Okay. And next, this is the, the maximum zoom of the phone. Of course, we will have to fix the focus. And that's it. Okay, so now we have the uh, zoom from the 1.25 uh, inch. Okay, now we're going to remove the phone now. Okay, of course, things with the telescope are uh, reversed. Okay, upside down. Okay. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Don't even ask about it. Okay. That's the nature of the telescope. Now, we're going to zoom back. Zoom out. Again, we're going to remove the XYZ and also the I piece. Now I'm going to attach the two inch. Of course, with the adapter, you must put the adapter. Of course, that I inserted inside the telescope. And 
first lens will be changed in the focus okay and of course this one i will have to like get it bigger okay have to widen it and here gosh, I have to fasten it so firmly okay very firm you have to put it okay as strong as you can and as firm as you can now yep I have to move the phone I was looking for something else and that looks funny okay because uh, it looks very dumb okay but what I should do, it happens a lot with me. Okay. Now here I move the phone, and voila. Of course, as we told you, we need to focus. So it's getting out of focus, changing the focus more. This means I will have to put to change the type. I mean the focus more even needs more change. And uh, this is now without, without the uh, zoom of the phone. And see how big is uh, your aperture now. Uh, I mean the, the view. See, it's better and wider and easier for you when you want to uh, like uh, wink with your eye, you know. So this is it. See, I'm getting that much. Although it's the same zoom, but you're getting... wider view. Maybe I should change the focus a little bit, give it more. Yeah, that's better. Okay, this is, this is the mosque, the whole mosque. Okay, and uh, actually they're doing their prayers now as we are taking the picture <laughs> okay so uh, that's it that's the comparison we go we zoom out and and here is again the whole view of my area with a two inch and thanks for watching guys bye